you recognize this logo? If so, you might be many of the thousands of people that spent their summer playing on servers like this, like me. On one of these particular servers I played on, me and my friend decided it'd be a great idea to cover the entire server spawn in random baby chickens. So we got to work. What you had just seen is the first ever prototype of the machine we lovingly referred to as the Egg Cracker. That server is long gone, totally not to some shenanigans by me and my friend, but its legacy does live on. Well, long after that server was done, months later, we decided to join a server called the Attained SMP, where you can compete in events, and if you win that event, you can add or remove a rule. And in this specific server, we decided to recreate that machine. The egg cracker had two main drawbacks. The first was material, which it already had by just grinding, and the second was time. Now to explain the time constraint part, I had to 1v1 this dude named Tabat, and said 1v1 was taking place at spawn. Guess where we were building the machine? At spawn. You can probably connect the dots and see what the problem is there. Now why exactly is this 1v1 taking place? Now look closely at the items he dropped, not the 5 stacks of blaze rods he somehow got, but the 45 ancient debris. Now that's besides the point, but there was only a few days until the 1v1 happened, so we decided to get to work. In total, after hours of effort setting up and AFKing the machines and placing all the random signs, we got a total of... One thousand five hundred chickens. Now our friendly farm over here creates thousand five hundred chickens a day. The U.S. daily chicken consumption is approximately twenty-four million a day. If you do an easy division, fifteen hundred divided by twenty-four million, then you get like two. What? Now, what is the probability that this amount of chickens can keep America fed for a day? Here's what I did. I have no idea what any of this means, but I think this is good or something. So, success, we did it. Overused joke out the way. There was only two or three days left to the 1v1, and to bad, he was a pretty good PvP. So, we decided to get warmed up and started training so we can take that scrumptious loot. This is like an inf this is like subway surfers levels of dopamine. Like the like, sound, the sound. 
This is like Subway Surfers levels of dopamine. I cannot trust This is like YouTube Shorts levels of dopamine. I, I don't- I, at what point do I just expect this man to just like... Tragic. Yeah, yeah, he, does, he doesn't care anymore. Subway Surfers. The life steal SMP. I, the deadliest player. I am the deadliest player. I'm the deadliest Minecraft SMP. It's Clown Pierce. There's no way. Dude, I'm screwed. He's gonna destroy. Now, after a good amount of training, I felt sufficiently good enough to take on Tabad. The fight went. Pretty interestingly. Three, five, four, three, two, one. Oh, yeah. Now that was the end of Tabad. I had killed him, absolutely dominated, did not stand a chance. Now, if you want to believe that this story had a happy ending, then click off the video now. Gone? Okay, this is what happened afterwards. This is Kaler Live. He has a Minecraft accent. He is horrendous at PvP. And he also is possibly brain dead. Here's what he did one day.